let's make an intentional simmer pot for Samhain or Samhain, depending on how you pronounce it. I specialize in intentional simmer pot recipes. That means that I give the ingredients and their meanings with it, not just the ingredients to make home smell good. Samhain is a time of year where we honor the souls who have passed, embrace the darkness, but repel any negative energy and call back your power. I often get a lot of questions about what kind of water I use at the base of my bowl, and to be perfectly honest, most of the time it is just regular water. However, you can use sun water, moon water, whatever aligns with the intentions that you're setting. I do also like to point out that most of the videos that you see, I use dried herbs or dried fruits, and that is simply because it's easier to store those. When it comes to making your own simmer pots, fresh is always best, fresh or frozen, but a lot of times it's just not possible to have things on hand, so I do dry everything, almost everything myself but there is no significant meaning to me actually using dried ingredients versus fresh. I use rosemary to call back my power. Bay leaf is said to aid in connection to the spirit world. Black pepper to remove any blockages preventing me from becoming my most powerful self. Apples are said to open gateways specifically to the other world or the underworld, and it's actually kind of interesting. Depending what culture you believe in or what culture you follow, like the Celtics would believe that you would be offered a apple in order to access the other world, while in the underworld, pomegranates are their fruit of choice. Not necessarily the fruit or food of choice, but it's the fruit or food that's most associated with it. I added cinnamon for protection as the veil thins, and I also want to note that if you're ever using cinnamon like craft stick cinnamon, you won't get the aroma that you will with using Ceylon cinnamon. You'll also notice that I do break up the cinnamon sticks, and that is for a very good reason. It is because, for whatever reason, it does help bring out the aroma more. I'm not sure if it has something to do with how the water absorbs it or what it actually is, but I have tested it many, many times, and I do highly recommend, if you're using Ceylon cinnamon, which you should be, to break up those sticks and not just put a single stick inside of it. I used calendula to honor my ancestors, and if you don't have calendula, you can get marigold if that is something that you have access to. I also added pomegranate seeds as an offering to Persephone, who is very prominent during this time of the year. However, she doesn't really have anything to do with Samhain as a celebration in itself. I also added honey to make my intention stick and as an offering to the gods. Add your ingredients with intention. Focus on what your intentions are, not only when you're adding your ingredients, but when you're stirring or dipping the ingredients as well. Most of the time I don't show actually stirring my ingredients, or in this case when I use a smaller vessel to dip the ingredients, because if you stir them, it just does not work that well. And the only reason that I don't generally show it is because it's just not that aesthetically pleasing. However, stirring or dipping your ingredients is extremely important to make sure all of the aromas blend together and that you get the most potent aroma that you possibly can. I personally like to use the tea light cauldrons, or even a butter warmer works really wonderful, versus the stovetop. You don't get a lot of simmering when it comes to this version, um, as you would on the stovetop. You do get the aroma that is definitely there, and honestly, I just don't like the idea of having to light a stove on the entire time. And another great benefit is that you don't have to use as many ingredients as you would with a stovetop. Obviously, with this one that I just made, it used a lot more ingredients because I was using my larger cauldron, but most of the time I just use a butter warmer, and it does wonders. It is absolutely beautiful. There is no issues that I've had with it. You do have to add water more frequently. But other than that, I highly recommend a butter warmer if you're looking for something like to put on your altar, maybe to make one in your bedroom, bathroom, or a smaller face. Although this is called the Samhain recipe, you can absolutely do this before or after. If you have any questions or have a comment, if you like the video, if you don't like the video, please leave a comment, let me know. And as always, happy shifting!